Tiki Falls 4.0. The Pawn Digger. The Belly of the Beast. Everybody's favorite YouTuber. Gucci. Look how easy it is. Look at that. Versace. My boy Dennis just finished Givenchy. Look how big that stone is. A little tip, a little trick. Oh my gosh. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, and this is the video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for Tiki Falls 4.0. Yes, 2023. I believe this may be the first Tiki Falls 4.0 in 2023. Well, anyways, the demand has been met. Today is the day. We're gonna get into some Tiki Falls. I can't wait, I know you guys can't wait. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger. Some of you guys may know him already. I'm Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger. If you guys don't, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel, his Instagram. Matter of fact, I'll just leave all of his links down in the description below. Go check him out, he is an absolute legend. And not only is he an absolute legend in the pond industry, but he hooked your boy up with a Helix skimmer. If you guys have no idea what Helix skimmer is, I'll put a link down below in the description. Go check out that video. It talks about all the bells and whistles that this skimmer has. My boy Eric Triplett designed it. It is an award-winning pond skimmer. So I'm super excited. It's like the high-end name brand of skimmers. I'm talking like the Gucci of skimmers. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Uh, the Versace. Versace, Versace, Versace. Givenchy. Down in Givenchy. It's all of the cheese in one. I can't wait to show you guys how this skimmer is gonna work on Tiki Falls 4.0 and what the purpose of a skimmer is, especially this one. So I am super excited, I'm super stoked. Big shout out to Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger again. Hey, speaking of Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger, oh, check out the hoodie, that's his logo. Thanks for the hoodie, brother. It's one of my favorites, man. I sport this bad boy everywhere I go. People probably think I don't wash it, I wear it so much, but your boy's clean. I wash it, okay? Man, I've been so busy on like this little tour of visiting all of Sacramento's finest aquarium stores. If you guys haven't seen that entire playlist, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, okay? Go check out all of Sacramento's finest aquarium stores. There's actually seven of them within a 20 mile radius of each other. It's insane and I'm so lucky to live so close to so many different aquarium stores. So go check out that video for me guys. In the meantime, let me cue this video for you guys, all right? We're gonna go back into the future, which is yesterday, where I'm waiting for my boy Dennis and Connor to get here to help me with Tiki Falls 4.0. So enjoy the clip. I'll see you guys back here in a, jip in a jippy. I'll see you guys back here in a jiffy. Is it jiffy or jippy? Jiffy is jiffy's peanut butter. I'll see you guys back here in a jippy. I, I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Is it jippy or jiffy? I don't even know. Anyways, I'll see you guys back in a little bit, okay? Back to the future. All right, look what the wind blew in. These two gentlemen here. We got my boy Connor. Of course, everybody knows everybody's favorite YouTuber, Dennis <laughs> Rishi right here. The boys are here. Connor, everybody wants to know, are you still single? Still single. single He's still single, ladies. Let's go down in the comments, man. Look at, he's got a beard now. That's Looks right. like his boy here, Dennis. Oh, look at, they got the beard. Two little Grizzly Adams here. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Anyways, we're gonna get busy. Uh, Dennis, share with the people, what's our plan of attack? Well, we're gonna try to get all the mechanical in, so all the plumbing, the lights. Ooh, lights, um, that's why we have lights still hook up. You got that Helix skimmer, and uh, so we're gonna try to get that set in. All right, cool. And that's our goal today. All right, to that's the, the goal. Chemical. All right, guys, we're taking you guys step by step. Uh, Connor's going to be doing some rock work in the pond, which is going to be cool. But I also got to show you the custom rock work that my boy Dennis did where the stairs is. I didn't actually share that footage with you guys, so stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a banger. My boy Connor is actually digging through these piles of rocks, which this is Tiki Falls 1.0 and 2.0 and 3.0, all these rocks that we saved. He's... uh kind of a little designer right now he's finding the one that fits right and he's actually you are man look at he's doing a nice job on this shelf work here making the rocks not perfectly symmetrical but he's using different size rocks uh, to give it a more natural look so once we get that all dialed in whoo it's gonna look nice this is the perfect opportunity we're gonna go down into the belly of the beast here I wanted to show you guys Dennis's handiwork so these are the rocks that we added but check out the cuts on the step here. Look at that custom, look at this custom fit. Look what my boy did, man. This looks so awesome. Look at that, all the way up to the top. Look how he cut this stepping stone right here. Look at that, ooh. 
it's those little custom jobs here those little custom details that absolutely love and he stuck this we kind of ro rolled this boulder over here and kind of pointed it up and so this little piece of boulder is going to be sticking up out of the water a bit give it another more natural look but absolutely love these cuts in the stone here to make it and give it that custom look though um and if you're wondering they're super super sturdy to stand on all right so we got dennis here who just made that cut on that flat piece of uh stone there he's actually making it a custom fit for the skimmer so just wanted to keep you guys posted on our step-by-step -step procedures as you can see dennis is going to place it oh right in there okay so you're making one flat shelf in that little area there cool and that's where the uh, skimmer is going to rest okay so i just wanted to keep you guys posted on what we're doing to customize the skimmer to fit like a glove and then this is kind of like the buddy system here me and connor uh this is kind of a trick a little trick of the trade here when it comes to moving stone so we have like a big boulder here that connor's gonna roll into place right here is a uh, piece of fabric that we have for the pond and as you can see connor's is way too heavy for us to carry so what we do is we actually put it on top of that um fabric and we're going to use it as a sling so basically what we're going to do let me go into this mode here is we're going to grab the ends we're going to do the buddy system and we're going to actually carry this whole thing up into the pond down there as you can see we're just going to kind of wrap our hands get a good grip i left my gloves over there so your boy's going to go <laughs> just barehanded but look how easy it is look oh, at that yeah. we can lift this rock up so easy we can move it around we're actually gonna put it down inside the pond super easy then we went ahead and set that stone right there so as you can see we're forming a little wall with our shelf here kind of making sure there's enough slack in the pond liner these rocks don't have any sharp edges we're just very careful laying it on the pond liner normally we would put some fabric as a little padding down there but the fabric isn't here so for the time being we're using a little bit uh, smaller rocks with less sharp edges in it that way it doesn't puncture or you know put any stress on the pond liner so a lot of round bottoms and whatnot flat edges maybe when we get some underlayment I can actually just lift these rocks and kind of put some underlayment for padding down there so that's just what we're doing here it looks really good i hope you guys enjoyed that little buddy system little tip little trick for you guys out there that are doing diy ponds and you guys have somewhat big rocks you guys can use the buddy system like connor and i did with the um, fabric and uh, lift it up together you guys can move rocks pretty easy so my boy dennis just finished his cuts there on that brick making it custom and as you can see he's got it right up against there and we'll fill that in with a little bit of rock on the side there maybe a, a large rock here on this side maybe on that side too once we build that background or the back of it and uh yeah it'll be uh it'll be nice we'll hide it nice all right dennis explain what's going on now what do we got going on with the skimmer so we're setting the skimmer and we're setting it in sand right now just to stabilize it we still got plumbing to run along the back side back there and uh we're leveling across i wanted to pitch a little forward just in case in the future if there's any settlement and it starts to lean back i don't want it overflowing over this and so it should be pitched just a little bit forward you see yep so if i get level i got what almost a quarter inch there yep and so uh makes sense that's why we did it that way all right so connor is actually dumping in some sand pack it down in there stabilizing the skimmer the cool thing about this skimmer is first i've never had a skimmer on a pond and second there are two ways that you can actually uh use this skimmer you can actually put a submersible pump down inside the skimmer and that way it's going to pull the water into that skimmer or you can use a external pump which we're going to use on this skimmer so there are two ways of using uh the skimmer you can have an internal pump which will be submersed inside the actual skimmer or you can do it the way we're doing which is externally there's going to be a pump that's going to be pulling the water from the skimmer now the cool thing about the skimmer is which i've never had before and i'm excited to see it go to work is it skims the top or the surface of your pond so leaves, debris, anything that falls inside the pond will slowly start to make its way towards the skimmer because of the current it's pulling. And it'll go right inside the skimmer, which we have our basket that's gonna catch everything. And it'll be easy to clean any type of debris, which is really cool. Cause I was so used to using a skimmer net the old school way, like a pool skimmer net on the pond. Now I don't have to ever do that again cause I have a skimmer, which is really cool. Now you can see the handiwork 
of Connor here as he actually formed the little wall that goes right around that ledge. So that's kind of cool. I like it, Connor. I like it, man. <laughs> All right, so my boy, Dennis, has actually heated up this PVC pipe, putting a little bend in it right there. Uh, this is for our plumbing for the jets. So we are going to connect all of the jets together here and he's working it right now bending it holding it there um you know they do have flex pipe for this kind of stuff but we're not using flex pipe it's really hard to come about we couldn't get our hands on any uh same thing with the plumbing on the skimmer too as well uh normally they have that black uh hose flex pvc pipe so we're actually going to be using schedule 40 pvc um is what we're using and then my boy is just using his heating technique that's how we do the bends in the pipe as you saw uh, in previous videos of tiki falls 4.0 dennis was using the heat to uh bend the pvc pipes like he did over here just waiting for it to dry and he's gonna stick it right in there and glue it we've got connor over there with a boulder in his hand he's gonna find a place for that he's placing a, a second level right there against that berm which I got to go give him a hand, all right? So, all right, I'm going to drop the camera down, give him a hand. So I figured I'd pick up the camera right now. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to show you guys what we got done. We got quite a bit done. Uh, we got some rock laid inside here, but we got this huge stone that we just got in. I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys how we did it. I didn't have the camera running because it was kind of a pain in the butt. So let me flip the camera around and show you. Basically, our boy Connor, what he did was just pick up that stone right there in the middle and set it down there. Sit on that stone there, Connor, so we get a, a size. Look how big that stone is. I should say boulder. So basically what we did was we, we grabbed that boulder from over there in that pile. And myself, Dennis, and Connor, we rolled it down this path here. And we didn't want to roll it on the rubber liner. So we had this mat that we have here protect it. And we rolled it on there. And then we just literally dropped it onto this horse mat that we have here, which is a padded mat. It's not the pond liner, which is right there. And then we rolled it into the corner and got it upright and put some rocks down at the bottom to stabilize it. You can see the small little, uh, what are those called? Riverbed rocks down there. And now it's stable. We got a flat, nice flat piece. Uh, that we can stack more rocks on top and then uh, Dennis is actually gonna take some of these oh let me just spin the camera around he's gonna take some of those cinder blocks there and he is going to fill it in right around that rock give it a nice custom fit so he's gonna do some cutting on the cinder blocks to make it a nice custom fit right inside there just so you know uh, what I'm talking about but job well done Good job Connor we did it man there he is, ladies. He's single, all right? Comment down below, all right? I'm trying to make a love connection for my boy here, okay? See, look at that smile. Smile again. See, look at that smile. <laughs> We're going to make a love connection on this channel, baby. You guys don't want to hear this loud noise. So let's cue the music. So Dennis has the cinder block that he just cut. And he's actually going to fit it right inside that groove there. He's actually cutting into the rock. You can see he's cutting a good piece of that rock off. He's gonna pound it away and chip at it. There you go. He's cutting little lines in it and then he's gonna hit it with the hammer to try to break pieces away, just like that, until he gets enough of it broken to fit that cinder block right inside that groove there. He's using an angle grinder with a diamond bit to cut through that rock over there. He wants to make it nice and tight against the rock, as, as uh, tight as possible, he said. So he might chisel a little bit more on the rock. He's really wanting to make it tight. Going back and forth, chiseling it down, as you can see. Here we go for the fit. Ooh. Looks nice. I don't know. We'll see what the man, we'll see what the man says. Looks nice from here. I like it. He says he can live with that. So we're going to basically set another rock on top of... The cinder block now he's gonna make another cut on a uh, cinder block and fit it right on the other side right in there so Dennis is actually gluing that cinder block that he cut let's see how well this fits oh oh Dennis oh don't do it to him Dennis don't do it to him oh come on now look at that cut oh man. hey that's not bad at all now he's gonna cut another brick and stick it right there where he's dusting so Dennis is actually gluing 
another cinder brick that he custom made fitting it right in there gluing it so it's not going to ever move and would you look at that custom cut oh, i know right it's like right at that height too Woo! look at that yep we're gonna put a big a big rock right on top of that cinder block and that natural rock there we also put in the uh plumbing here so we got that bad boy remember he was bending it like beckham we got it going right around the skimmer here all right so now we're gonna find a big rock to set on top of that rock well i don't know if it's a big one but we're gonna find a rock in this pile this graveyard of uh, boulders that we have here so what we're gonna do basically is do what we did the last time grab the boulder roll it down roll it down this ledge and then stack it on top of that boulder way over there the best we can so wish us luck when I pick up the camera again you're gonna see hopefully a rock on top of that rock there so we found the boulder that we're gonna use we're gonna use this bad boy and we're gonna stand it up just like this how Dennis has it and so what we're gonna do is stand it up on top of that boulder there we're gonna go ahead and hoist it right there and then we're going to hopefully get that boulder and roll it and set it right down on there we managed to use that technique that uh connor and i use with the sling we managed to get it over here instead of rolling it and now and what okay i'm gonna stand on the mat here they're gonna slide this rock onto that rock and that wall hopefully gingerly letting it slide Oh my gosh, like a glove. Wow, look at that, man. I can't believe, I can't believe we pulled it off. Let me get a, uh, an angle from the other side of the pond to show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, we have that boulder on top of that other boulder right there. Oh man, that looks great, huh? Check out that boulder stacking there. All right, so Dennis just got done finished cutting another cinder block custom. Just gonna glue it down. And look at that fit. Look at that cut against that rock there too. Ooh, look at the detail. That small piece right in there. Oh man, that looks good. Looks good, Dennis, looks good, man. So what we're gonna do next is backfill behind that rock. So we're gonna grab our liner, flip it over the rock and the wall, and then fill it. We're gonna go ahead and do that as soon as we get the cinder block stacked up to the right height, and then we can backfill and uh, that's gonna help stabilize the rock. All right, so what we're gonna do is get rid of the horse mat here, pull that out from that rock. I know, right, and then the rock comes tumbling down. So what uh, Dennis is gonna do is hold the rock like that while we backfill it all. We're going to flip this liner back over the rock, and then we're gonna backfill down inside that hole there. So it'll keep that rock from wanting to tip back. That's what we're talking about, backfilling. So we're gonna go ahead, start backfilling, as you can see. We're almost at the top here, backfilling the back of this rock here. And we still got some more back here to backfill. Yeah, those things are like daggers, man. We gotta cut those, cut those up, put a horse mat back there. So as you can see, we have this entire area backfilled with sand. Um, that way, now when we flip this liner back over, everything's gonna be nice and stable, especially that boulder that's right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna line some rocks up in here dig a little trench, shut the rocks down inside it. And uh, Dennis is gonna finish the plumbing and the electrical. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Flipping back the liner. I know it's right there at the tippy tippy top. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera tomorrow morning. I'm gonna show you everything that we got done today, all right? Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Whew, and just like that, we are here in the present time. I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you guys everything that we did, all right? Let's first start off with the skimmer. Here it is, the star of the show. This is the Helix skimmer. Now, this is the first time I've ever had a skimmer on a pond. We set this bad boy, as you can see, it's set. It's not going anywhere. We have it leveled out the way we want it. Now, what a skimmer does on the pond, it skims the surface of the pond. So the water level is going to be right about here, just so you know, okay? That's where the water level will be. Now. 
most skimmers have like a, a rear door it's called and it's right here and it kind of opens and closes when the skimmer is skimming now the thing with that door is sometimes fish will come up to it get inside the skimmer and they'll die they'll get sucked down and they'll die in the skimmer this skimmer here is fish friendly so let me explain to you what happens this right here is a floating weir okay so there's no door this thing's going to be floating like this and it's going to be skimming the water right here at the top so the water's going to be going over this lip here this will be floating like this fish are able to swim inside the skimmer and swim out without getting caught and dying in your skimmer which is super cool so you got the floating weir put that and then we have our basket look at that big basket eight inches i think most baskets are like six inches this thing is pretty big catch a lot of debris and it compacts down here because of the vortex that this creates the sucking it actually pushes it way down and compacts any leaf debris that gets caught in there and then as you can see this is the skimmer plate lift this up and you can see how far it goes down we can actually upgrade it too and we can put a filter mat right in here in this ring right there and we can also apply overflow so we can put one right here and we can also put auto fills right here and the way they designed it was they made it flat here so you can drill holes right in we can do the same with that side too as well so the possibilities are endless with the helix skimmer let me go ahead and put the basket down in here we put the floating weir there and then if you guys are wondering what this is this little pipe or snorkel this is a vacuum breaker for the skimmer a vacuum will form below the basket plate and this standpipe will break that vacuum so the skimmer isn't damaged next level my boy eric triplett the helix skimmer check it out now up here on the patio you can see our plumbing right here what i'm going to do next is i'm going to throw this underlayment over the top and that pond liner over the top and then we also have some more underlayment so it goes underlayment pond liner underlayment i don't want this pond liner scratching up against the wall at all so that's why we doubled up tripled up whatever you want to call it now all back here we're going to backfill i'm going to put some nice boulders right here just like we did over there on that side we're going to put some boulders over here i'm going to leave a little space here because i want a huge destination boulder to cantilever over that wall so we can put our feet down in the pond feed the fish maybe have another big boulder out over here but we're going to line the edge of the patio with rock and then inside we're going to backfill it with dirt soil to planting soil so we can plant some beautiful plants along the side of the wall they'll grow over the wall it's going to look so beautiful i'm just trying to give you guys the visual and show you guys what's going on so as you can see down there is the shallow area the stairs go into the pond we did manage to get some rock work done so we did it on this ledge here we didn't finish it because we got caught up with that beast of a boulder over there look at that though the two boulders stacked on top of each other look at that rock work right in there huh all the cuts that my boy dennis did that looks so nice we have a big boulder on the wall right there that's going to hide our plumbing that's going to be going through the backside that we don't want to see so that's why we have that boulder there but man talk about rock work check this out as we come around to the side here we got some boulders that are worked in here yep your boy connor myself and dennis we were some boulder rolling guys back here so we basically have all of these boulders here we kind of made like a little walkway right here we're going to backfill this area here we're going to actually put soil topsoil and we're going to plant some plants in here make it look really nice and decorative probably put some red canna over here maybe some yellow orange canna which i absolutely love we backfilled this area where the boulder is this is another angle of what the pond looks like from this side uh but let's go inside the pond all right this is i want to show you guys some stuff that we did so i'm on this ledge right here inside tiki falls 4.0 i want to show you the little shallow area right there we might put some flat pavers and just pave it out right there as a little like uh pooling area uh but i want to show you right there the plumbing you see that little round circle there that right there is going to be a jet so we're gonna have a jet. We're gonna have like maybe a 90 degree elbow on that. And it's actually gonna be blowing this way down. So any sediment that gets settled up here, whether it be fish waste or any type of debris, the object is to push it this way. Same thing with this right here, right there. That notch right there is the part of the plumbing that's gonna be a jet. We're gonna actually put a 90 degree elbow pointing downwards. So it'll shoot a stream of water and make a current. So that's the object. We have a light right there on the stairs. That's gonna look really nice. And then as we go down the wall here, we have some more 
plumbing right there where we're gonna have another jet and we're gonna have it angled 90 degree elbow down. So it's pushing all the muck and debris that away towards the filter or the intake cage that is right there that we had custom made by my boy Dennis. And we also have another light there. And as we move down the wall, we have another jet that's gonna go there and another light, another light there right above the intake cage. And then we have another right there. You can see the wires hanging out, but we're going to install another light right there. And we have another jet that's right above that too as well. So now you guys get a better feel of what's going on. This is so cool, man. Uh, of Tiki Falls 4.0. It's, it's surreal, guys. It really is. Like you can see the skimmer here at eye level. I'm standing inside the pond and man, it's got to be four feet deep. Yeah, at least four feet deep. Gosh, this is insane. Sorry if this video was a little too long for you guys, but I don't want to leave anything out, especially when it comes to Tiki Falls 4.0. This is one of the most demanding projects on my channel, and I got to give a huge shout out to my boy Dennis and Connor for coming out, helping me with this build. I know uh, in the videos it looks like I'm not helping at all because I pick up the camera and I'm shooting these guys, but trust me, your boy is putting in some work. It just sucks because I got to stop, pick up my camera, vlog it, video it for you guys to see, all right? So I got to give a huge shout out to my boys, man. Without those guys, None of this would be possible. Another huge shout out to Mr. Eric Triplett, the pond digger, for that beautiful skimmer right over my shoulder there, the Helix Skimmer. Ohana, go check them out. I'm telling you guys, best skimmer on the market. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm exhausted. So I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Hello.